I'm Abby. I'm Keith. Welcome to our 80s life. We are in Corpus Christi, Texas. We're going to show you the filming locations for the 1985 cult classic, The Legend of Billie Jean. doing filming locations unfortunately there's always some places that are either totally gone or they just look way different that's right this was one of them this was the sonic that was in one of the open scenes of the movie it would have been here right behind us it's just a big empty field now this is the scene where Hubie was messing with Billy Jean and Bing and he ends up with a milkshake in the face whoops <laughs> Now we're at the Clayburgh County Courthouse, but in the movie, they changed the sign here to read Bayside County Courthouse. This served as the Corpus Christi Police Department headquarters, and this is where we're first introduced to Lieutenant Ringwald. The girls come here to ask his help to get back Binks' scooter, and he says if it's not returned in two days, he'll definitely help him. But of course, after that, it just gets chaotic and crazy, and it definitely does not get returned properly in two days it does but it's super damaged well he realized after the shooting that he really messed up and you know i really like the lieutenant i do too he seems like a good guy he wants to help he's like oh man i really screwed this one up and it seems like he spends the rest of the movie trying to make it right i think he really has a heart for billy jean and her family and he just wants to help you know he, he just wants to make it right we are actually filming this on thanksgiving day that's some dedication right here, you guys. We're working on Thanksgiving Day. So Keith, what is your opinion? Do you think they filmed inside this building? I definitely do because you can see the marble columns. And really? In some of the scenes you can see the marble. So definitely they used the interiors of this courthouse for that movie. Cool. The Claybird County Courthouse is actually in Kingsville, Texas, which is about an hour away from Corpus Christi. Yeah, we're not really sure why they drove this far to use this location other than it's a beautiful courthouse and they may have needed it to use the inside was probably a lot less busy than the other one. So when the lieutenant tells Billie Jean and her friends that they're going to have to wait two days, Billie Jean decides to take matters in her own hands. She goes to the dockside surf shop to try to get the money from Hubie's dad and that's where we're going to take you next. One of the most prominent locations in the movie was the Dockside Surf Shop. And this is really the place that started the whole debacle. That's right, a broken down, beat up Honda Elite and $608. So Billie Jean comes here to get the $608 to fix Binks' bike. She comes here to get it from Hubie because this is his dad's shop. So she knows he's going to be here. He is. She doesn't get the money from him, spoiler alert. She racks him, <laughs> and then she proceeds to ask his dad, Mr. Pyatt, for the money. And he's like, well, I don't have the money downstairs. We're going to have to go upstairs to get that amount of money. That's not creepy at all. Not at all. So she follows him reluctantly up the stairs, the little spiral staircase, up to the little room up there, and that's where he tries to rape her. Binks and Ophelia have been waiting in the car, so they come in, and then Binks opens the cash register and finds a gun. At this point, Mr. Pyatt and Billie Jean come downstairs. Billie Jean's trying to get away from him. They're obviously struggling, and so that's when Binks pulls the gun on him, and he tells him it's not loaded. He's like, I don't keep that loaded, and so Binks doesn't think it's loaded, but he holds it up anyways, and he ends up shooting him like in the shoulder. shoulder. And then they're on the run. At that point, they're on the run because they don't know, like, is he dead? Is he, in, you know, what's going on? They, it just, they're afraid. So they run, get their stuff, and get the heck out of there. Unfortunately, they're closed for Thanksgiving. Total bummer. I was really hoping they had some Billie Jean shirts to sell us, but <laughs> darn. I really wanted to see that spiral staircase. I know, I was like, is there really a spiral staircase? I don't know, let's go see. But it's totally boarded up, there's no windows we can look inside. So, unfortunately, this one isn't gonna happen today, but it's still neat to see the outside and it looks exactly the same. Now 
Now we're at the Texas State Aquarium. And this is the former location of the Candy Shack Mini Golf where the kids spent the night. In the movie, it was all like defunct and run down and we're pretty sure they added some set pieces to make it look more run down. Definitely that gingerbread house where they spent the night. Oh yeah, that's for sure. Cause they got inside it. There's yeah. no way you would get inside something like that. So they added some movie set pieces to basically a defunct old putt-putt golf place. Um, but yeah, this is the location where it was at. And if you are ever in Corpus, you should definitely check out the aquarium. It's really nice. Now we're at the Circle K that used to be the Sigmore gas station. And this is where the outlaws stopped to get some food because they're starving. One little problem is they have no money though. Putter's trying to load up with a bunch of snacks and they're like, hey, we can't afford this. But they get recognized for the first time by a couple kids. And then those kids are really nice and they put the food on their dad's tab. <laughs> All right, Keith, how did you know this was the right place? I knew this was the right place because in the scene when they dump all the food out on the counter, you can see this Whataburger behind them. Aha, there it is. The telltale clue. Good sleuthing, babe. Thanks. A few minutes later, we see another scene with this place again because they end up going back so that they can use the payphone. They realize that Mr. Playa is actually not dead and so they're not murderers, and they go back and use the payphone inside for Billie Jean to call home. Her mom answers the phone, but Lieutenant Ringwald is there, and that's when they talk to him and tell him what they want. Billie Jean tells them that they're willing to turn themselves in, but they need the $608 from Pyatt. They meet him at high noon at Ocean Park Mall. <music> parking garage at the Plains Capital Bank building in downtown Corpus Christi. Now, this was supposed to be the parking garage for the mall, but it's actually not. In the establishment shop, when they arrive in the station wagon, you see them come around the corner. And behind it, you can see the sign that says Skywalk Level 2. And this is where they park to go into the mall. mall but in the movie they called it ocean park mall as a kid in the 80s i spent a lot of time at sunrise mall with my cousin shane and shane thanks for your help on finding some of these filming locations yeah he was born and raised here and he was a huge help on some of these places so one of the iconic scenes from the movie here at the mall is when she's coming down the escalator and there's that fountain in between Back in the day, this was actually a really cool mall. And several years ago, before it closed, we got a chance to go inside when it was very empty. I think we were like the only ones there. We took a few pictures, which we will insert here. At the end of the chase scene, they end up at the parking garage, but it's not this parking garage. It's actually the one downtown by the bank that we just showed you. So that was a little movie magic. All right, let's see if we can get in and if it looks the same. All right, I'm missing the red carpet. I was hoping it would be here. <laughs> We got gray carpet, but that's okay. It does look the same. Look at that. Cool. So 
here is where they make their getaway. We see them come right back out the door into the parking garage that, of course, is not the real mall parking garage. That's right, and this is where Banks, he had stolen the fake gun, probably at KB Toys at the mall. Yeah, he wrote an IOU, though. Yeah, so <laughs> that made it okay. Yeah, they borrowed it. <laughs> so this is where he pulls out that fake gun and points it at Lieutenant Ringwald. A couple other nuggets that we noticed, you can see the faded out paint here with the red, white, and blue. Yes. You can see that when they pull into the garage. And also, when Binks is holding that gun, you can see that building in the background. Yeah, the one with the little curved windows there. So that's how we knew we were in the right spot. But also, because we just met a guy inside the bank, super nice. Super nice. He who actually, was here, he was an extra at the beach scene. He told us all about it. That was awesome. So where did they go when they left this parking garage? All right, so they had to find a place to hide out, so we're gonna go see that now. Okay, let's go hide out. And here we are on Lower Broadway in downtown Corpus Christi. Behind me is the corner where they were hiding out. The original building that was there is now gone, but you can tell by some of the landmarks behind it that uh, this was the right location. You know, this really wouldn't be a very good hideout. It's right in the middle of downtown. Yeah, they figured that out pretty quickly, so they decided to move on and find a new place to hide out. And that's where we're taking you next. All right, we are making our way down Ocean Drive, and I just wanna show you guys how beautiful it is. We've got the beach on this side, and beautiful homes on the other side. And one of these houses is Lloyd's house, which is where we are going now. There it is. Well, we found Lloyd's house, and it's really pretty, you guys. It looks pretty much the same as it did in the movie. It appears that they used both interior and exterior shots here. Remember, this is where she cuts her hair, that iconic scene. That's right, she makes the transformation to like her Joan of Arc persona. <laughs> oh yeah, they watched the Joan of Arc movie and that's, that's right. how she gets inspired. That happens here at Lloyd's house. And who could forget Lloyd's amazing water slide and that would have been like my childhood dream to have something like that. When we first watched the movie, I thought this has to be just made up for the movie. It has to be a set. But looking at the house, I really think it was real. I don't think it's there now, but I think that was a real thing and it is awesome. Either way, it was cool. It's <laughs> so cool. Okay, so they leave the not so great hideout and they come here to Lloyd's house and they think it's empty, right? Yeah, do a little breaking and entering <laughs> and uh, you know, they're looking for food. Just and a little squatty. Billy Jean goes upstairs and it's super creepy and then Lloyd jumps out and scares the heck out of her. In like a werewolf mask. And she, yeah, <laughs> and she needs them in the groin. Oh yes, of course, we can't miss that. That's her signature move. That's right, that is, that is Billy Jean's move. And I don't want to give too much away in case you haven't seen it, but Lloyd ends up being a really cool guy and maybe a little bit of a love interest for our Billy Jean. Um, yeah, and he then joins the group for the rest of the movie, so from as, here on out. As a hostage. As a, well, it's his idea though. He's like, you guys are gonna need a bargaining chip, so you ought to make me your hostage. Well, his dad's the district attorney, aspiring right. to be the attorney general of the state of Texas. Yes. So he has a little leverage with his dad. Exactly. I love the, the storyline of Lloyd. And from here out is really my favorite part of the movie is when he joins up with the rest of the gang. So I love seeing his house. It's y'all. Is this not an amazing house? It's so beautiful. Now we're on Navigation Boulevard at the Port of Corpus Christi. You can see it right here behind me. This is where the kids make the fake ransom video for Lloyd, and they also find out there's a $10,000 reward. In addition, they hear on the radio that they want to give Binks a free Yamaha bike. 
This is the former location of where Dollar Days was at, and this is where they went to go buy a wig for Billie Jean because she had become so recognizable. She's pretty much like a local superhero by now, and while she's there, some kids recognize her, and they're like, you gotta come help our friend Kenny. Now we're gonna go show you where Kenny's house is. Okay, now we're at Kenny's house. Keith, what happened at Kenny's house? Well, Kenny was being abused by his dad, and so Billie Jean comes over here to intervene to get Kenny out of that situation. Kenny's dad recognizes Billie Jean, and he <laughs> sees the mob of kids out front. He says, hey, I don't want anything to do with this, so he lets Kenny go with Billie Jean without incident. So this whole yard was full of extras, probably little kids that they <laughs> drummed up from around here at, back in the day. Um, I'm sure there's probably some kids that are now like our age that could tell stories, but anyway, this whole yard was full of kids cheering on Billie Jean as she rescued poor Kenny. That's right. But after that, yeah, what so, happened next? So after that, the they're street? leaving and this hillbilly cowboy <laughs> spots Billie Jean and he wants that $10,000 reward. So he pulls out his gun. He goes, I want to shoot out her tire. Well, his girlfriend's be, like, no. He must be a terrible shot because he shoots out the back window of the station wagon and then a chase ensues. So we're going to go to the place where he ends up crashing his truck and flipping it. All right. So we've left Kenny Street. The chase ensues. Now we're on South Padre Island. All right, so we're doing the U-turn at Carroll Lane. The truck is following the station wagon. He turns around here. And there used to be an incline to the uh, to this here. Now it's flat. Yeah. So the truck goes up on here and then he- up, Like up here. Yeah, and then he flips and ends up on the road right here. The station wagon drives off. And they make their getaway, except now their station wagon is shot out the back window. <laughs> this is the JFK Causeway. The gang comes here after the station wagon window gets shot out and they sleep here. This is where Billie Jean realizes she's in way over her head. Someone could get hurt. So she calls Lieutenant Ringwald. She lets him know where the girls are located and he comes and gets them. He wakes them up in the back of the station wagon and she goes on her way with Binks and Lloyd. Yeah, next they go to the Corpus Christi Country Club of all places. <laughs> so let's go there now. Binks and Lloyd end up at the Corpus Christi Country Club and Binks temporarily steals a car from the valet here. I guess he thinks better of it because he doesn't actually steal the car. Well he drives it down over here where Lloyd and Billie Jean are hiding behind the cart and he's talking to him and all of a sudden you see the valet running so they all take off on foot and this is where Billie Jean gets separated from the boys. During the chase scene in the background you can see that house over there with the balcony. And that's how we knew we were in the right place. Bob Hall Pier, unfortunately. As you can see, the pier is no longer. It's a pier to nowhere. <laughs> so we can't get over to that location, but it's clearly seen in the background in this next scene. That's right, so here at the beach, things have come to a climax. Everything is out of control. Billy Jean is supposedly supposed to turn Lloyd over. And so Binks dresses up like Billy Jean and has Lloyd as a pretend hostage. And Billy Jean is actually in the crowd. Of course, Lloyd is not in any danger, but they don't know that. So Lloyd's dad freaks out and asks them to have 
snipers there, which yeah. seems like a really bad idea. Then Hubie really screws things up because Hubie realizes that it's really not Billie Jean and he comes running out there going like, hey, it's not her. And Binks has his little toy gun and he aims it towards Hubie and the sniper decides to take him out. So don't worry, he doesn't die, but he does get shot. Yes. So chaos ensues, it's a crazy scene and it was filmed right here. And earlier today, we met a guy that was just a local that we happened to talk to that was in that scene as an extra. He was telling us it was pretty much just like he a said, big, big party. party. Yeah. <laughs> he said they had all the locals, whoever wanted, teenagers, whatever. Basically, they just told everybody, come out, we want a big crowd. They had bonfires set up. And he's like, honestly, it was a total blast. So from here, an ambulance comes and picks up Binks. Billie Jean is chasing the ambulance and then she magically ends up at the Dockside Surf Shop. Well, surf's up. Time to head back to the Dockside Surf Shop. Well, we're back at the Dockside Surf Shop where the main action of the movie began and also this is where it ends. So after Binks gets shot, Billie Jean is chasing the ambulance and she ends up back here. Which, <laughs> which is, is that, really far which away. Which is actually like 10 miles away from where the beach scene was filmed. So she comes here and she sees Mr. Pyatt has actually been selling her merch. And then he tries to make amends by giving her the $608. She ends up kneeing him in the crotch. <laughs> He falls over and then a fire starts where his stands were that he was selling all this merch. Everything goes up in flames. It's very symbolic, I think, of the movie. Like, she's just trying to get some money. She's a poor girl. She ends up being this legend and then he tries to make money off of her. And then the whole thing goes up in flames. Well, it's <laughs> that whole Joan of Arc theme, so. Oh yeah, that's right. I yes. didn't even think about yes. that. They even have like the big, kind of statue of her that's made looks like it's crudely made out of some paper mache or something right. and it goes up in flames like it's burning in effigies quite a scene really well hope you enjoyed your tour around corpus christi don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if you enjoyed this we've got tons more filming locations from other fun 80s movies we will link the playlist right here bye y'all